Hallelujah. Praise, praise God. Amen. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Año Nuevo or Happy New Year to you. And uh, Feliz Domingo por la Mañana. So we want to welcome all of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, we just uh, been talking about opening the year with a bang. Amen. Amen. We want to make it exciting. Amen. Amen. Every, every time we open up and do something, you know, for, for God, you know, open it and do it with excitement. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be talking about that. So all those of you that are uh, joining us by audio or video, we want you to prepare yourselves to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Yes. He always has something for us. So be ready to receive. He wants to bless you, encourage you, and change you, and correct you. Amen. So praise God. Here's the thing is, don't be the same. Amen. Leave different. Leave yeah. changed. Amen. He wants to change us. Amen. He wants to uh, encourage us. So don't leave as you came, but leave encouraged. Amen. So praise Amen. God. Amen. Grab your, grab your Bibles. Grab your swords on your God. Amen. Amen. And uh, let's say it like we mean it. Amen. Amen. So here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says. What it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 What do I need to do? <laughs> be excited for God. Amen. Amen. Be excited for God. And we're going to be talking about excitement this year. Amen. We're going to be talking about being excited in this new year. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Be encouraged, child of God. Amen. Uh, let me see. Opening the new year with the with the bang. Be a passionate believer. That's what we're going to be talking about. You know, this is about the time, you know, for Christmas and uh, uh, Easter. We're talking about the passion of the Christ. You know, being as passionate as, as Christ was, and then we to be excited, to be enthused, to be cheerful, to be joyful, amen, to be a joyful child of God this year and every day of our lives as we serve him, amen, we could do this, you know, instead of being sad and, 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 and trying to hide ourselves, you know, and being ashamed, it's time to come out of your closet, you know, and just be joyful, be cheerful, be a passionate Believer for Christ, amen. amen. You know, they're not going to see your joy if you're sad and doomed and gloomed. You know, they're not going to follow you, they want to see the good news. The gospel yes. is the good news, amen. Yes. And they want something new. You know, they're already sad and doomed and and, and on their way out. You know, they want to hear something excitement, yes. something excited, amen. Yes. They want to be passionate, be passionate about what you do and serving Him, having powerful emotions, having enthusiasm, having excitement, being cheerful, being joyful. Here's the thing, is being on fire for God. Amen. Amen. We can get on fire. We can get enthused about so many other yeah. things in this world, you know, and the world has things for you to try to distract you from your uh, Christian walk. Amen. But be enthused about him. Be sold out for him. Amen. And here's another one. Be stirred up. He says, stir yourself up. You know, nobody's going to try to stir you up. You stir yourself up. Amen. This is starting the new year. You know, don't be like uh, ignorance. You know, what's the word? Ignorance is about doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. You know, here we go <laughs> with new year resolutions that we don't intend to keep. <laughs> that we don't Insanity? Insane. Insanity. Yeah, there you go. Uh, insanity. Thank you. <laughs> insanity. Doing the same thing over and over uh -huh. and expecting different results. Yeah. You know? So we want to be different. We want to be as excited for God. Amen? Yeah. Be stirred up for God. Amen? Yeah. Stir yourself up and say, well, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens yeah. me. Greater is he that's in me than he that's mm -hmm. in the world. You start saying these things about yourself, you're going to get yourself excited. You're going to yeah. be a, a blessing going somewhere to happen for somebody. Yeah. I say, wow, I've never seen you like this before. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Surprise yourself. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. That's all right. <laughs> be zealous. Be on yeah. fire for God. Amen. A couple yeah. of scriptures that we'll be talking about. Well, first, uh, Happy New Year. May yeah. God be with you uh, through the new year yeah. and fill you with life, with comfort, love, and cheer. Yes. May this day and the days ahead hold uh -huh. many blessings for you and yours. Yeah. Happy New Year. All those of you that are listening by audio or watching by video, yeah. hallelujah, we just want to bless you. 
and yeah. make, wish you a happy new year. Keep going, Ms. Carmen. Here we go. Here's a, one of our text uh, scriptures. If you want to open your Bibles to Philippians uh, 3, 12 through 14, amen. And I'll just read it from you from the NIV here. It says, not that I have already obtained all this or that already is right at my goal, but I press on to take yes. hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me, yeah. of me. And 13 says, brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting yeah. what is behind, uh -huh. forgetting the past, and straining towards what is ahead. I, and 14 says, I press, I press on towards the goal to win yes. the prize for which God has called me heaven worth in amen. Christ Jesus. Amen. To press on, you know, we want to press on, not hold and not go back and let the uh, uh, past hold you back. Keep going. Yes. Here's another text that we're using. In St. Corinthians uh, 5.17, it says, If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. I want to keep these scriptures uh, close to you and, and remind you of these scriptures because we're starting off the new year. And these are fresh, you know, to say, hey, let's forget about the past and let's press on, you know. And the world, family, friends, <laughs> co-workers, right. people you know are not going to let you forget about the past. No, they're not. And they're going to let you know what you used to be. Oh. You know, it's up to you to know that I'm now a child of God. I've been yes. born again, and I don't live in that address anymore. Yes. I've changed addresses. Mm -hmm. I'm a new child of God. And they're going to see my words, my actions, and they're going to see my <clears throat> that I've changed. Amen. And I don't want to be there anymore. I've changed. I've got a new address. So I don't have to go back there anymore. And uh, if God can forgive and forget, so can we. And you know, here's the thing is, uh, maybe this year we start seeing the best in people and not just the worst. Yeah. Because we tend to see, always find the bad, the bad to talk about and we see the bad in people instead of seeing the good in people. All right. Amen. Why don't you see the, the good in people? Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what Christ sees. Mm -hmm. You know, um, oh, Miss uh, Bobby <laughs> gave me some glasses, you know. As you spend time with Jesus on a daily basis, you spend time with him first. We're going to talk about our priorities. Yeah. Spending time with him first. <laughs> you know, when you spend time with him, when you come out of there before you hit go into the world, put your Jesus glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> I got my Jesus glasses on. I know you're jealous. You want some. <laughs> but put your Jesus glasses on before you go out into the world yeah. so that you can see people through his love and through his compassion amen. and see the best in them instead of the worst in them. Yeah. Amen. Hey, man, we can say amen and close and this is our message for today. Mm -hmm. See people the way he sees them. Bible says for God, so John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, mm -hmm. he sacrificed his only son yes. to gain people back, to win people back to him. So, and if he can forgive and forget, so can we. Amen. Amen. See the good in people. Amen. See, you know what they need? They need Christ. They're lost. They're going to act like lost people. Yes. But they need Christ in their lives. Mm -hmm. And you can bring God. You can bring Jesus to them. Yes. You can bring the good news to them. Amen. It's in you. Amen. God has called you. Amen. Just point at yourself. Don't say, well, pastor or brother or sister so-and-so, man, they're good. I'm not good at this. Well, it's time you quit putting yourself down. Mm -hmm. And it's time for you to start saying, hey, Lord, I can do these things. Yes. I can do all things through Christ. Well, this is what the Word says. I, I've been neglecting the Word. Now it's time to get it in you so that you can go out and do what God has called you to do and fulfill the mission He called you to do. Mm -hmm. You're a gift of God. Amen. And you're going, you're a blessing of God, and you're going somewhere to happen. No, yes. you can't have my glasses. <laughs> Thanks, thank you, Miss Bobby. <laughs> Hallelujah. Another scripture is Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. I'll read it to you like this in a New Living Translation. Do not remember the things that have happened before. Uh -huh. Do not think about the things that have passed. See, I will do a new thing. He wants to do a new thing in you. Mm. You know? 
Quit putting yourself down. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see yourself. You got to deal with that and you got to change that. But, you know, he wants to do a new thing through you. He wants to do a new thing. So see yourself the way he sees you. It will begin to happen now. This new day, this new year, this new beginning. Amen? Mm -hmm. You will not know about it. You will not know about it. I will even make road in the wilderness and rivers in the deserts. Mm -hmm. Amen? So he wants to do a new thing. He wants to use you. He's the head and we're the body. So guess what he's going to use? He's going to use the body. Mm -hmm. He's going to use us. Every one of us. Mm -hmm. The rest of the world... <laughs> They don't know because they don't know Christ. They don't have Christ in their lives. If you have Christ in your life, he wants to use you. Amen. We're going to be talking a, a great story in a few minutes about the four men <laughs> that helped their friend and brought him to Christ. A paralyzed man. And they were so passionate about what they were doing. They wouldn't stop until they got the man to Christ. Mm -hmm. And Christ saw their mm -hmm. compassion. Christ saw their faith. And he didn't say, hey, I'm in a meeting. You guys are interrupting my meeting. Get away. <laughs> no, he saw their faith. He saw their goodness. Mm -hmm. And that's what we need to do. He saw their faith and says, get up, rise. You're well. Go. He says, and he walked out. Amen. The paralyzed man walked out. So guess what? You're that. One of those passionate believers going somewhere to happen for somebody. And God's going to use you just like he used those passionate men. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or be a passionate woman for God. Amen. But know that he wants to use you. So this is the year. God wants to, you to love him and to serve him with more passion, with more excitement. <laughs> you know, make this walk with Christ uh, 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 an exciting walk, a passionate walk, an uh, enthusiastic walk. Walk, amen. Cheerful, joyful, amen. This is, this is my walk with Him. So don't let the world dictate how you're going to do. It says, "This today the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it." Amen. <laughs> don't worry about what the world's doing or what's happening out there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it because my God says for me to do this. Amen. So we're going to press on. God is more inter interested in our future than our past. If he's forgiven and forget about and forgotten about it, why are we still holding back? Mm -hmm. Keep going, Carmen. There we go. Never be a prisoner of your past. It was only a lesson, not a life sentence. Okay? So don't let the past, don't let family, don't let friends or anybody else hold these things against you and say, well, you'll never amount to anything. You'll never be anything. What is the word of God says? Yeah. The word of God says he has called you, equipped you, and qualified you, chose you yes. to go and do this mission. Amen. Yes. So if he's called us and approved of us, why are we waiting for the world's approval? Of course, well, I don't want to get too far ahead, but forget the past, the troubles, the problems, the failures, the setbacks. This is what people see. And this is what we need to stop. And we got to see the good in it and not the bad. You know, they brought a, a woman uh, that was caught in the act of adultery. Did Jesus hold that against her? No. 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 He did. Whatever he did, he got on the sand and he wrote something and then he got up and everybody he says, huh. you would first, you know, it says you without sin cast the first stone. Yeah. And he wrote something on the, on the, on the sand. Mm -hmm. He got up and he looked and everybody, they started walking away one by one. Mm -hmm. Said, woman, where's your accusers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're gone. He said, well, go. Said, do that no more. Mm -hmm. He wasn't holding it against her. He said, just don't do it anymore. You know, if, you, if you've sinned against him, or we've all have, confess your sin, repent, yeah. and accept Christ this year, this new year. Accept Christ in your life. And press on with him. Amen. Amen. Forget about the past. That's gone. He's forgotten about it. He's forgiven you. He's forgotten about it. So now it's time for you to say, hey, I'm a new child of God this year. I'm going to press on and do mighty things for God. Amen. With passion. With excitement. Amen. 
<laughs> if we was passionate serving the world, why can't we passion be passionate serving Him? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Forget about the past, church. <laughs> Let's get passionate, excited, and enthused about this new year. Right. Let's get passionate about the new things God wants to do in our lives. That's yeah. right. He wants to do new things in our lives. Not only that, He wants to do something new with you. Mm. Amen. We're always looking at somebody else. Yeah, you know, awesome. well, he didn't never mm -hmm. forgot about this person. He never forgot about that person or brother or sister, so and so. But he always forgets about me. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. Right. Amen. No, he didn't. You stop saying those things. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants to use every one of us. Yes. Now, here's where the beware. <laughs> beware. And I just made a list here. Keep going, Carmen. I think I have it over here, too. Forget about the past. Don't judge my past. I don't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. Keep going. God has big plans for you mm -hmm. to give you a future and a hope. We're going to be reading that scripture in a few minutes in Jeremiah. Keep going. Don't let someone who gave up on their dream talk you out of yours. Oh, yeah. Amen. Sure. That happens all the time. Hey, you know what? I was doing that before. Uh, it, it don't work. Yeah. I tried it and it won't work. <laughs> Keep going. There we go. <laughs> oh boy. Here's the beware. Beware of these killers <laughs> in 2020. <laughs> it's those dream killers. Oh boy. I even put them in colors for you. <laughs> <laughs> beware of these passion, mission, motivational, uh, time, vision, goal. I've got a few over, over here. Excitement, enthusiasm, joyful, happiness, mm. killers. The Bible says the enemy comes, John 10, 10. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And you know he's going to use people to do the same thing for you. Yeah. Says, hey, you know, I'm going to do this. You know, this is the year I'm going to do this. I'm going to be so, I'm so excited for God. I'm going to do this, this, and this. Mm. You say, oh, man, you know you can't do that. I, I know mm -hmm. you. You sin and God can't use you anymore because of what you've done. He said, Oh, really? And you go to listen and believe what people say instead of what the Word of God says. Yeah. You know, that's not scriptural. Mm -hmm. Let it go. So beware of these uh, uh, killers here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we live a lot amongst a lot of killers oh, that boy. want to kill your dream because yeah. theirs never took off mm -hmm. and because they never pressed and were passionate about fulfilling their dream. That's right. Amen. And what God told them to do. Or beware of these uh, killers, these passion killers. <laughs> beware, beware, or you beware. <laughs> Give no place to the enemy or anyone, and he's going to use people just like God uses yes. people. If you're not for God, you're against God. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just idle. No, you're not. <laughs> if you're not for God, you're against God, mm -hmm. and he's using you. Well, I couldn't do that, and I'm going to make sure nobody does it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to spread all your bad. Uh, mm -hmm. News yeah. instead of good news. Mm -hmm. Give no place to the devil. Give no give or anyone or anything. Yeah. Any distractions. That's right. Amen. That try to come against you, and there's going to be enemies coming against you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just like Goliath came against uh, uh, David. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be people going to come going to try to stop you. Mm -hmm. Anything he uses. Renew your mind with the Word of God. Replace the bad thoughts and negative thoughts <laughs> with the Word of God. Amen. You know, if it doesn't, if you do, if you get the Word of God in you this year, I want to read through the Bible. This year, I want to study the Word, meditate on the Word. Good, get it in you. So well, you know when the enemy or people are using things, except you know what, <laughs> it sounds real good, but you know what, it doesn't line up with the Word of God. Word of God. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. You let this out. You know, even the enemy, even the devil, when he came to tempt Jesus, mm -hmm. quoted the Word. Yeah. He said, yeah, but yeah. if you're going to quote the Word, quote it correctly, mm -hmm. and don't leave anything out. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Don't leave anything out. But you need to know when people are just saying, well, that was part of it, but you forgot this part of it. So you don't let people just tell you anything. And here's another thing is, I'm getting way ahead of myself. We let unqualified people, people that's got more problems than you do, yeah. want to tell you how to manage your life, how to run your life. 
will tell you about your problem. Yeah. And they got more problems than you do. Mm -hmm. So you go to Jesus. You go to the Lord. Amen. He said, mm -hmm. I'm casting all these problems. I'm casting all my cares on you. Mm -hmm. I'm casting all these worries, anxieties on yeah. you because you care for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get full of the word so I can go somewhere to happen. Be a blessing to somebody. Amen. Set somebody free. You know, hey, uh, I want to set some people free this year. That's right. You can. Because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. You know, last, last week I made a, I made a mistake, so I want to make a correction. <laughs> <laughs> Two words <laughs> to know and beware of this year. Fear and faith. Okay. Amen. Fear. False evidence appearing real. Amen. And here's my correction. <laughs> Faith. <laughs> I think I said for everything I trust in him or yeah. trust him. Mm -hmm. But faith is for anything yeah. I trust him. Okay. For anything I trust him. Okay. Amen. Just like Jesus trusted his father. For anything. Have faith in him. Amen. Have faith in him. For anything I trust him. Amen. Amen. So you know what? You can cast all those things on him because he cares for you. Right. You know, there are people come to try to dump all their stuff on you. All they right. say, you know, let me tell you about Jesus. You need to be born again and cast all those things on him. Uh -huh. Amen. This is the best thing we could do. And get rid of all the trash so you can go out to be a blessing, amen? Yes, so you amen. can go out and be used of God, amen? Yeah. And stop talking about, well, he, he uses everybody but me. Oh, <laughs> you got to stop singing that song, you know, remember? Yeah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Here's another thing we need to practice this year, for sure. Control your tongue. Oh, boy. <laughs> Control your tongue. You know, uh, I know we read it all the time, but let's go to Proverbs 18.21. <laughs> yes, we use the, the Word of God. We use the Bible here. And we teach from the Word. Mm -hmm. But Proverbs. Amen. <laughs> Where's that at? Proverbs and Proverbs. 18, chapter 18, verse 21. It's right after Psalms. <laughs> and it's right before Ecclesiastes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm reading from King James here. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. It says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm -hmm. So there's a fruit comes from this. Yes. So remember, we've talked about this many times. <laughs> Words are seeds. Uh-huh. And when you have seed, if you sow it, you plant it. Mm. And if you plant something, it's going to grow. Yeah. So you don't want it growing in your life. You don't want it growing right. in your garden. That's it. Amen. So be careful of not speaking the negative things, uh -huh. but speak positive things. Speak life and not yeah. death. Amen. Yeah. Well, you know, it's the way it's been said all this time. Well, don't say it anymore. That's right. <laughs> So control the tongue. Don't be hung by the tongue, you know, because we could do that. <laughs> so beware. <clears throat> life and death are in the power of the tongue. Or you could say it, life and death are in the power of your words. Yeah. Huh. That's a good way to say it. Life and death are in the power of your words. Mm -hmm. Words are powerful. Yeah. It's so powerful, God just spoke this word into existence yes. just out of words. So words are very powerful. Yes, so you can have what you say, yes. but you have to be careful to speak positive and not negative. Amen. Amen. So, change the old negative thinking into new positive thinking or the sinking thinking. Get rid of it. No, no. Amen. Let go of the hurts, the guilt, the uh, griefs, uh, grudges, the bad memories or anything that tries to hold you back. Uh -huh. It's time to press on. Yeah. It's a new year, and we want to start the new year yeah. passionate, on fire, stirred up, yeah. excited for God, amen? <laughs> and press on with the things of God. 
hey, we're on God's team. We're on the winning team. Yes, we are. Amen. And the enemy, if you haven't heard this, the enemy is a defeated foe. Huh. Why are we letting this enemy, this defeated foe, control us and keep us on the run when we should have him on the run? Mm -hmm. Amen. The Bible says, and you know, the right place for the enemy is under your feet. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so tell him, get back in your place. Get under my feet. <laughs> Keep yourself yeah. on fire. Amen. Keep yourself stirred up with passion for God yeah. as we serve him this new year. Not only this new year, yeah. if you think, wow, it's a long year. We got a long ways to go. Yeah. But daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. On fire, stirred up for him on a daily basis. Yes. Amen. We, we can yeah. do this, you know. <laughs> you know, some people get stirred up and fired up. On Fridays, they say, well, thank God it's Friday. That's the only time they wake up. All week, they've been asleep, you know. <laughs> and Fridays, they wake up say, oh, my God, you know, hey, weekend's coming, you know. It's time for me to live it up, you know. <laughs> well, we need to live it up for him on a daily basis, amen. Being stirred up. Oh, God. And do the right things, yeah. amen. Do the right things for him. Praise God. Amen. Stay focused. Stay excited. Stay passionate. In serving him. Amen. Here's the key thing is we serve in him. Yes. In Colossians 3.23. Let's go there. I love that scripture. Colossians 3.23. I'm getting ahead of myself with this, okay? The Lord's showing me these things, so I'm just going to follow the Holy Spirit. <laughs> uh, Colossians, right up to Philippians. Yes. Chapter 3. Uh, let's start 23 and 24. It says, <clears throat> Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, 24. And whatever ye do, do it heartily as unto as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that the Lord ye shall receive the reward of, of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ. Mm -hmm. Know this. As you start off this year, if you're going to do it, do it as unto him. Amen. Amen. He's already paid the price. Yes. He's bought you. <laughs> so I'm giving myself back to you, and I'm going to do this as unto you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Because if you're trying to do it under men and try to please men, mm -hmm. it ain't going to work. No. You do it pleasing him mm -hmm. and do it unto him. Amen. Lord, I'm doing this unto you because you know what? You may not even get a thank you for it. They may look the other way. They may say something you don't like. But I did it because, Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Yes. And when you do it that way, Lord is pleased and you're blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Lord use me. I'm so glad. You know, I'm so excited. Why? Because the Lord is using me. <laughs> Amen. Be excited for him. Amen. Be excited yes. what you're doing, that he's using you. Amen. Before, it's just like you're sitting back doing nothing for him. Mm. You know, just sitting back because somebody told you, God can't use you anymore. Mm. God can't use you. You know why? Because you don't have what it takes. Yeah. Is that right? Mm. Show me in the scriptures. What? Mm -hmm. Know what the scripture says yeah. so that yeah. nobody can say, well, you're not qualified. That's right. He said he's called you, equipped you, qualified yeah. you. That's good enough yeah. to fulfill whatever mission he's given you. Right. Big or small, it doesn't matter. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. Amen. So stop the pity parties. Once you know the truth, it's going to set you free. Yeah. <laughs> stop feeling sorry for yourself. We do that a whole lot. You know, it stops. This is a year. It stops here. <laughs> yeah. We'll put a little on me or, you know, this is another thing we got to get rid of. A losing attitude. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Get rid of that losing attitude and have, you know, as a child of God, you need to know. I'm on a winning team, so I'm going to have a winning attitude. Yeah. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So praise God. I'm going to press on, you know. I'm going to stop accepting defeat. I'm going to stop accepting this losing attitude. Stop saying life is unfair to me. Stop. And stop confessing the problem. Yeah. Confess what the word says. Yeah. What the answer, what's life? Confess life and not death. Amen. Amen. Stop listening to the enemy's lies. And quit taking advice from unqualified people. Oh, yes. Oh, for sure. <laughs> people that are telling you what to do. Oh. And they're hanging out in the wrong places and doing yeah. the wrong things. But here they come and tell you how to run your life. 
And you, and you know what we do? We just listen. <laughs> Say, yeah, I never, you know, I didn't think about that. Sure. Well, just think what's happening to them. Yeah. In the life they live. Oh, boy. You need to be giving them advice. Yes. You Amen. need to tell them, you know what you need? You need Christ in your life. Amen. They need the truth. <laughs> be careful who you allow to talk to you and give you advice. <laughs> Some of these folks have more problems than, than you do. Mm -hmm. You don't need more problems. <laughs> God created us with emotions. He yeah. wants us to live a passionate and emotional and enthusiastic, excited life for him. Yes. You know, you don't have to be sad, you know, because you're a believer, That's you're a Christian. Right. I can be excited about every day because he says, I've given you a new day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. I'm excited. Why are you laughing? Because I've given it, God has given me a new day to serve him. Yes. You know, when you open them two beautiful eyes, mm. Mm. praise yeah. God, thank you, Lord. He woke you up. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm excited. Amen. Be passionate. Because he has called you. And you're in the body of Christ. Amen. Passion is what caused the apostles to go boldly and do what no one else had done. They went. He says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to everything. Right. Well, you can't do that, you know. People sure. try to stop you and tell you why you can't do. Uh -huh. What did the scriptures say? Mm -hmm. If this says in the scriptures, then I can do it. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Amen. Sometimes. <laughs> We got to go by what the Word of God says. Yes, uh, all the time. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Passion is what caused Christ to fulfill his mission. Yes. Amen. Many times he had to go and visit the Father and spend time with the Father. So who are we? We're, 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 we need to do the same thing. Yes, go ahead. I need your strength. With, with you, I'm everything. With you, I can do all things. But without you, I can do nothing. That's right. I, without you, I'm nothing. Yeah. I need you. Amen. And we're doing this under you. Yeah. If, if Jesus needed him, if Jesus needed the Father, so, so do we. Yes. We need him. Hallelujah. Yeah. So passion is what takes a normal born-again believer and turns them into a supernatural, passionate believer. Mm -hmm. On fire, sold out, hungry for God. Amen. Yeah. And ready to say, Lord, here I am. Send me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. You know, we don't pick and choose. He picks and chooses. That's right. Big or small, mm -hmm. it doesn't. You know what moves me is when he says go. Mm -hmm. When he says go, just go. Don't say, well, you know, I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> when he says go, he knows you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So just go. And what am I doing? I'm stepping out in faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he told uh, Peter, he says, Jesus, I want to come. Every day he tells us, come. Amen. He said, yeah. come. I want to be where you are. I want to go where you sent me. Then he says, come, go, go, go. You know, so we're going with him. Amen. Amen. So be ready. Be ready to complete your mission. Amen. Amen. Mark 12, 30. Let's go there. Mark 12, 30. We're not going to feel, uh, finish this, okay? So uh, That's okay. <laughs> we got, we got more time. We got all year to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Book of Mark. Chapter 12 and verse 10. <laughs> I don't know about you, and this is a good time for uh, me to say. <laughs> As you open your Bible, and if you open it up and it looks real pretty and got no marks in it, <laughs> throw, put it aside and get you another one that you can scratch, you can write in it, highlight it, <laughs> fold a page, oh, or whatever yeah. else you can do, put, uh, write your name in it. Now, that's what you want to do. <laughs> Uh, Mark <laughs> chapter 12 and verse uh, 30. <laughs> uh, oh, no wonder I can't find it. I'm in verse 11. I mean, chapter tw uh, 11, 30. Uh, I don't know about your Bible, but mine is in red. And verse 30 is in red. It means Jesus is talking. <laughs> It starts off, 28 says, uh, the great commandment. Yeah. But we're reading verse uh, 30 says, And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with yes. 
all thy heart, yes. with all thy soul, mm. with all thy mind, with all thy strength, and with. And this is the first commandment. Oh, Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's read 31. And the second is like, uh, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh. There is none other commandment greater than these. All right. Amen. Amen. So, says, the living translation says, and you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, uh -huh. with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And that's what Jesus said. I want you to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and strength. Yes. Nothing matters more than this. Amen. So if you don't know, now you know. Amen. Highlight it. Underline it. Amen. Learn it. Yes. And this year, Matthew 6, 33. Okay. Let's go to Matthew 6, 33. Yes. It's a good scripture for this year. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're in the New Testament. Matthew 6, 33. Everybody knows it, so let's go read it. Yeah. Amen. This is a good scripture to learn this year. Yeah. You know, start reading and start learning more scripture. Yeah. <coughs> Matthew 6, 33. And 34. It says, but seek what? First, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And 34 says, and therefore, and take therefore no thought for tomorrow, or tomorrow. For tomorrow shall take thought for the things of self sufficient unto the day that is, the day is the evil thereof. Amen. So, get the, keep him number one. Keep him number one priority in your life. Amen. Yes. <laughs> you know, everybody has priority list. As a believer, as a child of God, keep God first in your life. Yeah. Make him your first priority. Amen. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. God says, I want you to love me and serve me with passion, with excitement. Amen. With enthusiasm, <laughs> with joy, cheerfully. Nothing else matters in life if you don't love God passionately. That's right. God doesn't want you to love him half-heartedly. He wants you to love him with all your heart, with all your soul, mm -hmm. with all your mind, and all your strength. And you know, <laughs> all means all, all not half. Yeah. You know, sometimes we just try to do halfway, <laughs> and that's it. No, he says all. Just like he says, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. He wants us to love him all, with all your heart. Amen? Amen. So praise God. <laughs> Romans 12, 11 says, don't be lazy. This is a new living version. It says, don't be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a heart full of love, excitement, enthused, and passion for him. Let's go there. Romans 12, verse, chapter 12, and verse 11. Hallelujah. Amen. Stay with me. Romans 12. Romans chapter 12. Right after the book of Acts, Romans uh, 12, 11. Mm. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. And the, uh, and the uh, Amplified says, Rejoice and exult in hope. Be steadfast and patient in, in suffering and tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Amen. Amen. And let me see. Verse 11. Never lag in zeal and in earnest endeavor. Be aglow and burning with the Spirit serving the Lord. Yeah. Serving the Lord. So be on fire. Be stirred up. Be passionate. You know, yeah. be excited about doing this. You know, yeah. people will see this. Yeah. You know, and it's the attitude that's going to motivate them to say, wow, I want, I need, I want what you've got. Because if you ain't doing it with passion, people are going to see, why would they want to follow Christ if you're not even serving him with passion? You know, so they're going to see this. 
So the living trans the living version says, Don't be lazy, but always work hard. Work for the Lord with a heart full of love, full of excitement, and full of enthusiasm and passionate for him. Amen. Yes. And once again, Colossians 3.23 in the Living Bible says, Work hard and cheerfully at all you do, just as though you were working for the Lord and not merely for your boss or for people. When you're trying to do it for people, what when you're trying to do it for your boss, you're trying to impress people. Yeah. And you're trying to please people. It ain't going to work. Promotion comes from, from God. Yes. Amen. So know this. This is what the Word of God says. If you're going to do it, do it as if you was working for the Lord. And we're working for Him. We're doing this and serving Him with passion. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So, whatever I do, I want to do it with that enthusiasm. I want to do it with energy. Put some emotion into your relationship with Him. Amen. Amen. We have relationships. <laughs> Let's show our relationship with Him is a wire. Yes. Excited, enthused in what yes. we do. Boy, you really, you know, when I see you, I, I can see that you're really on fire for God. Yeah. You know, we're on fire for, uh, you know, the playoffs, and football <laughs> playoffs is going on right now. And we're excited to get in front of the TV, you know. Some of us spend all kinds of money to go and be there in person. Oh, yeah. We're excited about this. You know, we tell everybody, hey, I went to the game. I was there. You know how much money I spent? Oh, yeah. Lots of money. And we can't do one thing for Christ. You know, we're enthused for the worldly excitement, for the worldly events, but we can't be excited for, for Christ. We'd be sold out. I'm sold out for Christ. And I can tell you right now, hey, he's already paid the price. Yes. All I need to do is be on fire, be sold out, be stirred up, say, praise God. And you know, you can have eternal life in heaven with you. Yes. This Amen. is something to be cheerful about. When this world is over, oh, yes. you can stay and keep this world. Yes. But when yes. my life is over, I can be with him for eternity. Amen. Amen. So which one would you rather have? I well, I'd rather have Christ. Mm -hmm. Well, then it's time to make up your mind and say, hey, Lord, I need you. I've yes. sinned against you. I repent. I accept you as my Lord and Savior and press on you. Don't hate it. Go find you a Bible-based church where they teach from the Word of God and start pressing on and reading yes. the Word and being a soldier for God. Amen? Yes. And He wants to use you. And you know what He's going to do about your past? He's going to forget about it. Your friends won't, yeah. but He will. He'll yes. forget about it Thank and you, forgive you about it. And you're now you're a child of God. You know, quit yes. going around calling yourself a sinner. Now he says, "You're a child of God. You're 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 new. You're new. He's my God, and I'm His child. Yes. Quit being a wimp in your relationship with Him. Yes. It shows. Right. Everybody's come out of their closet except me, this little wimpy Christian. You know, he's still afraid. He says, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Don't be half-hearted, unenthused, weak, uncommitted, lukewarm." That's not what he wants. That's right. If he wants to step out, step out. Yes. Just be like Peter. Peter says, I want to come out of this boat. I want to come where you are. He says, come. Mm -hmm. So it's time to step out, child of God, into the things of God and walk, step out in faith and walk in faith yes. and know that you can do all things through Christ all who strengthens you. Amen. Amen. Knowing he's got you. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'm always with you. I praise God. Amen. I'm going to step out, and I'm going to be what he's called me to be. If you're going to follow me, go at it with passion. No lacking back. <laughs> so get, do it with some get up and go. <laughs> Give it some spark. Be on fire for God, amen, not lukewarm or cold. Give it some enthusiasm. We keep talking about Give it some excitement. Yeah. Like we do for some of the things in the world. Give us some gusto. You ever use that word before? Oh, give us some yeah. gusto. Give it some passion. Give it some excitement. Give it some delight. Get it some get up and go. <laughs> you know, I remember, I won't talk about you, but I'll talk about me when it was time Friday came. And thank God it's Friday. And I was ready to get up and go. <laughs> and you know, when Monday came around, 
My get up and go was gone. <laughs> and we start complaining about, oh man, it's Monday. I don't want to go anywhere. My get up and go is, is gone. But on a daily basis, we can do our get up and go for Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Ooh, hallelujah. Be excited. Yeah. Be excited, child of God. And we can keep ourselves stirred up. The Bible tells us that we are to seek God, love God, and serve and obey and trust God with passion, with enthusiasm, Hallelujah. with excitement. Amen. This is a new year to step out. Amen. With all these things. Amen. Yes. And do it unto Him. Whatever you do, do it with whole heart. Do it with passion as yes. unto God and not unto men. Because this is what he's saying. He says, I want you to do everything passionately when it comes to loving me, serving me, and living for me. Amen. Amen. People will see. <laughs> they see the Christ in you, sister. I see the Christ in you. Yeah. Praise God. People say that, you know. Say, I see the Christ in them. And that's what brought them. That's what drew them. Amen. Amen. And when they come and says, I don't know what you've got. What are you talking about? There's something about you. What is it about you? They you know what it is. It's the Christ in you. Mm -hmm. Say so all you have to do is receive him. He won't turn you down. He won't turn anybody down. I don't care what you've done. Amen. I don't care what people have said. Okay? That's right. If they told you he don't want you, it's not scriptural. That's right. He'll take anyone. Oh yeah. He takes all in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> In the U.S., it's okay to be passionate about anything except God. Huh, huh. That's not politically correct. Mm -mm. So <laughs> I could be passionate. We could be passionate about sports, about politics, about anything else. But I can't be passionate about my God. Like my God? That's a no-no. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to tell me that. You know, it's going to get to that in the later days. Maybe now, where they say, hey, we take an image of Christ out of everything, mm -hmm. including church. So yeah. we got to be careful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can't do that. You know, there's nothing but Jesus, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, all these powerful name of Jesus. <laughs> We're going to continue with that. Amen. And as a child of God, you keep with that. Amen. Yeah. Don't yeah. let nobody let you say, you stop, you can't do those. Mm -hmm. We got to set our priorities right this yeah. new year and seek Him first. Matthew 6, 33. No more excuses. Yes. God is seeking for perfect. God's not seeking for perfect people. He's seeking for available people yeah. that are passionate for him. Amen. We're going to be closing then. Amen. But he's looking for available people, yeah. not yeah. perfect right. people. So if somebody says you're not perfect enough for God to use you, they're wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. All you have to do is receive him as your Lord and Savior. And make yourself available and he'll use you. Amen. Amen. So people will tell you wrong. People will tell, uh, steer you wrong. But you go to the word of God. It says the truth. This is the truth. This is the word of God. It says the word of God will set you free. Amen. From people's minds, people's thoughts, and people's uh, uh, ways. And you start learning God's ways. And you're going to get passionate and stirred up about this new year. About serving him. About obeying him. And about getting your pump, blood pumping and excited for him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> getting stirred up on a daily basis for him. Amen. You know, do your spiritual workout before you do your physical workout. All right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. On a daily basis, just go to the Word. Get your scriptures. Get your time with him, you know, before you step out into the world. Amen. Amen. So praise God is what Chris says. Thank you. I don't know if it blessed you, but it blessed me. Yeah. So praise God. Amen. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Let me uh, read this to you. The scripture verse says, Let it all go. Some days you're too concerned about so many things. In a new year, a new day, cast it all on Him. Let it go. Let go of the past. Let go of the cares. Don't be like Martha running around in your busyness, finding frustration, meeting with disappointments, complaining about no help, grumbling about what other people have left you to do. <laughs> Let go of the past, concerns, frustrations, disappointments, complaints, and just sit at the feet of Jesus for a while. 
some days you could learn a whole lot from Mary. Just let it go and let God. Mm -hmm. Bless God. Hallelujah. Let her bless you.